at the Kenyan Youth Conference today at Nottingham. Please tell us who you are and what you do. Uh, my name is Esther, former um, Face of Kenya contestant. Fortunately, I didn't win, but the experience I had standing in front of the audience, that's one thing I never have confidence in, and I never had the confidence in speaking in front of people as well. So with that experience, I'm humbled to be part of that, and thank you for the experience, Janet. Thank you so much. But then after Face of Kenya, yes. I hear you've done a lot of amazing things. Talk I to have. me about your project. Um, okay, so basically, um, in 2016, um, before I got into the modeling stuff, um, I have... No, I have. We had started like chatting about um, the knife crime issue and how many people have been affected. Unfortunately, I have been affected, but I don't normally speak about it. So um, we sat down with my former best friend at that time and we sat, um, talked about all the issues that young people are going through, especially the young men who are mostly affected by knife crime. No necessarily knife crime but gun crime and um, drugs and family issues and you know that love they lack like in their family and the father role models that they like so we ended up going to see um, Frank who is a Mujatu director and he told us to um, you know if this is what you really want I'll help you push it and from that day we are here now we are we used to be called ransom social but now we're called fearless youth association fearless, youth fearless. association yes, but the are. narrative in the community right now i mean the whole of the country in the united yes. kingdom is on frenzy because of yeah. what's going on the it increase is. in the youth crime mm -hmm. the stabbing and the guns and yes. all. it's on the high it from is. what you've experienced dealing with the young people mm -hmm. what is the actual problem the actual problem is lack of people understanding them it's not necessarily um the government or well the government plays a part in it but it's the people around them that don't listen to them yes i might be a young person i don't like going to school or i'm not good at academics but i'm good at skill work mm -hmm. so we lack that balance of if i can't go to school what can i get apart from school mm -hmm. so if i don't find anyone that is willing to support me in that sector mm -hmm. what am i gonna do am I, I might end up going following my uncle my mm -hmm. stepbrother my mm -hmm. brother in doing that stuff mm -hmm. so if we don't understand young people in what they're going through there's no way we can help them and that's why most of them end up doing drugs because it's easy money who doesn't want yes, easy money, who doesn't want easy money? It's, yeah. it's quick so yeah. that's why they end up doing that and mm -hmm. once you get into drugs you have to protect yourself and what does that mean mm -hmm. you have to carry a gun mm -hmm. you have to carry a knife and if you because um, in Nottingham mostly there is postcode wars mm -hmm. it's not mostly known but it's young, everywhere, not it, just, it's it, yeah, like yes well. yeah um, yes. so young people tend to kill each other mm -hmm. or oh, I don't like you because of your postcode I don't like you because of your sunlight mm -hmm. Postcode doesn't mean anything yes. at the end of the day. Who's it's me the and you. These? Who's, what is the narrative out there? Do you feel like the young people are supported enough to understand what you're No, saying? they are not supported enough, most definitely. Uh, most of them that are in this um, gang knife crime thing, they lack the parental love they don't have that role model the father figure or most of them the father figure have been in prison or are still in prison or have died in it or are still in it so it's that person that look up to or if i see like lupita nyongo i'm so driven to be like her that's why i'm like not the reason why i'm in the media aspect but it's like wherever she is she's paved the way for people like me and others that will follow to like go through that stage so if a young person lacks that who am I going to look up to? I'm going to look up to then my friend who is going to offer me the temporary love and quick money. So, and that's why they end up doing that. Well, I mean, a lot of people we saying mm -hmm. that parenting skills, you yeah. know, there's a time where my parents would say no when they mean no. Yeah. Do you think parenting has anything to do with the trend of, you know, youth that are feeling so in space at the moment? It, yes, at some extent it does. Um, in Kenya, where I come from, I used to get the whooping, I'm not going to lie. It has changed the way I think in the way I deal with stuff. But in the UK, once I came here, I heard that once you even shout or even touch a kid, you're going to be taken to court. So I'm like, that doesn't sit well with me, knowing where I came from. If I know I spoke to my mom rudely, or even my elder, that would be the whooping I'll never have. But in the UK, mostly... We can't do that? You can't do so that. So how do you think we can discipline our kids if we can't go through that route? As much as 
it is controversial. Say the government should let the parents take the matter into their own hands. As much as it is really bad, a parent needs to discipline their children. Yeah. He, at, at some extent, they need to be disciplined. There's been such a concern. I'm going to ask you because you're a young person. Yeah. Because you've grown up in Kenya, there's mm -hmm. such an easy way of dealing with it. You mm -hmm. kind of understand because yeah. uncles, aunties were there for you. Yeah. How, what challenges do you think UK born Kenyan children are facing in terms of their identity? Because you sound like you understand where you come from. You sound like you understand yeah. your identity. Mm -hmm. What do you think is a conflict there? Um, 21st century children, they lack the sense of culture. If a person lacks culture, you don't know who you are. You just go with the flow or with the 21st century, I'm a firm person, I do this. But if the parents teach you Kiswahili, Kiluya or Kikuyu, that gives you a sense of who you are and it kind of humbles you and shows that, yeah, this is where my parents or my uncle came from. If the youth of today like that, they They've lost a part of their life that they don't know, and that kind of somehow has a void in their life. They don't know who they are, so they're trying to like walk through this earth and trying to figure out who they are. So. so every time people talk about the youth, we all agree that the youth have the potential. They, there's always a saying that uh, we are the leaders of tomorrow. But I think many people are so caught up in their statements, and no one is actually doing anything to make sure that the youth become the leaders of tomorrow. Fantastic. Yeah. So Esther, talk to people directly here, yeah? yes. talk to young people and talk to parents. Yes. Just a message from you. What would mm -hmm. you like to tell the young people? We are talking about identity, mm -hmm. mindset and career goals. Go. Where I am at the moment, it took me a while to figure out where I am and it's, it's not an easy process and it's not easy to open up knowing that the level of pride the 21st century person that I am, I don't want my next person to know that, oh, Esther is going through this, or Esther wants to do that, or this. I would say, open your mind, speak to the person that's close to you, or your teacher, your uncle, your auntie, whoever you feel that you have enough trust in them. Let them know how you feel, tell them, you know, um, especially mental health in young men and women, especially in the black community, that's a major issue that we're going through all of us you know there's that sense of a black man can't cry a black man can't express their feeling there's no such thing there's definitely no such thing so I'd urge all the young people especially I'm speaking to the minority the BME community please speak out and you never know there's someone out there who's willing to listen to you and with me now speaking to you is because of Janet and other people that I've met the confidence they have given me the courage they've given me i am grateful enough and i know you can do it if i can do it you definitely can do it so yeah <laughs>